right, everyone. Uh, I've had a lot of questions lately on how to use Zoom and OBS Studio at the same time, so I want to do a quick uh, tutorial on how I do that on my computer and how you can easily do it on yours. Uh, so uh, OBS is a free bit of software you can get that does a whole lot of different stuff. Uh, it's what I'm actually using to record this video right now, which puts me down in the bottom corner, and then I can share my screen with you. Um, you will go to, you can search for OBS Studio in any uh, software, but you can also go to um, OBS Studio or OBSproject.com uh, and you can download, as you can see, for Windows, for Mac, and even Linux. So um, download that. I assume that you know how to set up a, a program. Um, so you uh, can set that up, um, just install it, default software and then we'll go through I'll show you how to do each part after that uh, to so what OBS studio does is it takes in your webcam it takes in your mic and it can record them locally while also streaming up to YouTube um, you and now you can stream off to zoom as well uh, with an add-on um, so it's it's very helpful software so what you want to do after you download and install OBS studio is you want to uh, search uh, I just searched in Google for OBS Virtual Cam. Um, there's two different versions. One of them says don't use this version anymore. Click here to go to the new one. Um, this is the new one that you want, which is currently 2.0.5. Uh, go over here, uh, click download. It downloads it, and then we will click run. And just install it. Um, Right now, I'm just going to do one camera. If you do multiple cameras, you can also uh, set it up that way. All right, so finish. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to actually turn off my video so that way uh, it doesn't do an infinite loop. Uh, I don't. Maybe it won't do that. Oh wait, let's see. All right. Uh, sorry for the crazy screen here. I couldn't figure out how to show it without doing that. So once you've installed Virtual Cam, you'll go up to Tools, Virtual Cam, click that, and then it says OBS Camera is the target camera, and then you click Auto Start. So that means every time you open up OBS Studios, it will automatically start the virtual OBS camera. So then you click Start there, and that means it's ready to go. All right, so we have the virtual camera set up. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, open up Zoom, uh, go to New Meeting, and then we will go to uh, Join with Computer Audio, and then you'll go to Start Video, and you will click OBS Camera. Now, one of the things to remember is when you're using OBS Camera um, or OBS Studio, um, it is going to show you everything that is in the window. So when you open up, it's it's a little bit like Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere, when you're looking at the uh, preview video what you see in your preview video is what it's going to be projecting. So if uh, if you are webcasting your video capture uh, device, you want to make sure that your whole screen in OBS Studio is just your video capture device. Um, so you, you have to set up the resolution. And there's a ton of videos out there on how to set up OBS Studio correctly for this. Um, so what you want to do is uh, make sure that your webcam, uh, for example, it, what you're watching now is I have two different uh, inputs. I have my video capture device, which is the smaller video of me down in the corner, and then uh, the display capture, which is what is capturing the, um, the Zoom meeting, which is on my desktop. And so you can actually grab the corner of your screen. I'm going to make myself bigger and smaller. So you can just drag it and fill up your whole screen there. And then when you tell it to go, um, so for example, let's just fill up with me and then I click uh, start video OBS camera and it will then start streaming and it will just be whatever you see on your OBS software and the reason that this is good for um, certain people uh, is let's say you want to record locally while also streaming to zoom so that way if if you want to give a lecture um, you can record just you without having to record everything on Zoom, and this is the way to do it. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, post in the comments, uh, send me an email, and I'll do my best to help out.
All right. Thanks.